it's Tammy from Green Tea Design Co. Welcome back to my channel. And um, today we're going to do something different. I am out at um, my computer on the other side of my craft room. Turn that light on there a minute. And um, I'm going to show you how to um, use a digital collection, how to print and cut from it. I have a silhouette. So um, this is how... I do it with my silhouette. Um, some of my features might be different than most only because I have the pro version or the business edition of silhouette. So um, it, some of the functions might look a little bit different, but it's all pretty much the same. So first I will go to, um, just to show you what I have, I'm going to go down to my files and in my file here. I'm going to use the Polka Doodles uh, Winnie Sunshine Bundle. And that's the bundle I just purchased from Polka Doodles. And I'm going to use that for my swap with uh, Robin, my new adoptee. And these are all the um, things that come with that file. So you will get the, um, the black and white embellishments. You get the color embellishments, um, the papers, and this is more of the bright color papers. And then papers two is more of the pastel, and that's the ones I will be using for my um, swap. And then you get the sentiments, and here's the sentiments on a, uh, on a full page so and then um, the Winnie delights in black and white so you can color those if you have like the Copic markers or watercolor paints or crayons or whatever you want to do so there's the black and white Winnie's and then the color Winnie's so and I think that's it yep another one is just a zip file so that's the file that I'm going to use so what you first have to do for Silhouette is you're going to go up to your file section to library and we're going to do the color, the Winnie's in color and there they are and I want to import them all so I'm going to click on the first one and then I'm going to hit my shift key, click on the last one and that selects them all. Then I'm going to click OK and that will add them to my file so here they all are in my file and I already have them I've got a um, where is it right here I have the polka dot polka doodles thing I already put them in so I already have them in so here's all the polka doodles um, from from that collection imported already into my silhouette library all right so now I'm gonna go back to my design space on my desk and this is my sh sheet so it's an eight and a half by eleven sheet and on a 12 by 12 mat so what I want to do now is I want to set it up so it will print and cut so you're gonna come over here and on this little um, square that says registration marks I'm gonna make sure that's clicked and then turned on and it's gonna give me these print and registration marks so my printer or my silhouette when it reads those it's going to know where to cut so I've got that turned on you can get out of there now and now I'm just going to go back to my library and I am going to import a couple of these so let's do a we'll do a couple Winnie's I like that mermaid one so I'm going to do her, and there she is. And it's going to open on a new sheet. So what I do is I just um, cut, and I'm going to paste her back into my sheet that I already have the marks on. So there she is. And I'm just going to delete that. And then you can put in as many as you want. Um, 
want to say that. So I'm going to, we'll do a couple um, of the embellishments, like this coffee cup. And, well, that's just for now, because I already have them, if you see over here, I already have them all ready on my sheet and on a sheet already, but I just wanted to open a few of them just to show you how to do that. So we're going to use this one, and then I will grab, we're going to copy that and paste it over here. So we got these two. So that's how you do it. You just import them from your library. You pick out which ones you want and then it's gonna click so we're going back to our design all right now what you have to do I'm just gonna move this one to the side because we're gonna work on this one right now and I like to make them um, bigger just while I'm doing this part and then you can manipulate them and do them any size you want so the first thing you have to do is we're gonna go over here to the right side to the open trace panel and on mine it is the fourth one down so the trace panel I'm gonna select trace area and I'm going to just draw the box around the item I want to trace so now it's gonna trace this area and you can see it doesn't select too much of the design so that's not gonna give me what I need so I'm gonna move over here to the threshold and I want most of it to be yellow so I'm just going to turn the threshold all the way up. So then you can see pretty much my whole design is co covered. I don't want any detail in this because I am just going to cut out the outline. So I'm going to turn that threshold all the way up to 100%. And then I'm going to go down here to trace outer edge. So I'm going to click that trace outer edge. And then what that does is once I move her... You can see it just gives me this outline, this red outline of this Winnie. So I could just put her back and then if I cut it, it would cut exactly all these little lines. But that's going to be a lot to cut and it might not cut out so nice. So then what you do, and I like to have a little bit of that white border. You know how like the ephemera has that little white border around? So we're going to come down here to, on my silhouette, it's the star with the outline, and that is the offset button. So my image is select, selected, and I'm going to hit offset. So what that does is it draws an outline around that image and gives me a little bit of space. You can offset it and you can do an internal offset if you're doing something else and you want it to um, like if you're doing a, a star and you don't want any white you can go inside a little bit so you're inside of that um, image so you don't get any white but I want a little bit of the white around it of the cardstock so I'm going to do the outset and you can increase if you want more white and then it, it smooths it out a little bit so it's a little bit easier for the machine to cut so I like that I usually go about 150. I'm going to go back down to 150. Or 0.150. Oh, well. Let's go to, there we go. Well, it wants to keep skipping here. There we go, 150. All right, so I'm going to do that. And then um, if I take this out, there's my the detailed one. So you can see this is just what I got. And I don't want these little things in here because it'll if I leave those in, it's going to cut those. So I don't want those to cut. So what you do is you click on your image, you left click, and then you're going to release the compound path. So when I release the compound path, that takes all these, it separates everything. Before it was one line drawing, now it's going to separate it. So now I can click those and just hit my delete button and get rid of all these. If you want to leave like these big ones, you can. I'm not, I'm just gonna delete everything. So what we have now is we can move her back 
just put her here and then I like to select them both so just run a little square select them both and then go over here to the transform transform button and it's like um, some rectangles with a line between them and then I'm going to horizontally align it by the center and I'm going to vertically vertically align in the center and then it's going to put her right in the middle of that line drawing I'm going to left click again in group and now this is my little girl with her cut line around it so this red line right here is not going to print this is my cut line so now it is one thing and I can size it to any size I want and it's going to stay as long as I group it it'll stay together so that's how you do that and so we'll do that one more time with the cup so here's the cup let's make it large just so we can see what we're doing all right we're gonna go over to the trace button and we're gonna hit click select trace area we're gonna draw our box around this trace area and that does a pretty good um, outline of it but I'm just gonna increase that so make sure I got everything and then we're going to so I increase the threshold to 100% and then I'm going to go down to the bottom here and I'm going to click the trace outer edge all right so there traced my outer edge and now I'm going to select that traced image and I'm going to go over back to my offset button my image is selected I'm going to click offset and it gives me 125 and again I can leave it at 125 or I can bump it up to 150 which I have done for all my other ones so I'm just gonna do that there I bumped it up to 150 and then I'm gonna take this out so I don't need these anymore so the detail ones you don't need anymore and now I'm gonna move this one you can see it doesn't have anything in the center so I don't need to hit the um, um, the release compound path because there's nothing inside here to delete so now I'm gonna move my cup back I'm gonna select them both go back over to my transform button and I'm gonna transform it I'm gonna center it horizontally and vertically and then I'm going to let our uh, right click on it and group it so now I have it it moves all together it's one piece this is my image that will print this is my cut line that is going to cut it out and I can size it to any size I want so I always change my cut lines to green because everything in this program turns red and then I want it just so I can know what I want to cut but that's how you do that so we'll just take those we're gonna bring these over to our thing I don't have the cup oh I do have the cup so so then we'll put them here so I've already got these already done here she is and here's the cup and here's I did all the rest of them I mean increase this a little bit so you can see so I've already done all of these Winnie's and all of these little um, the ephemeras and I've sized them to all different sizes and um, now I can use these for whatever I want I made them all they're all about three inches I'm gonna make a few in different sizes I want a few more of these um, these uh, ephemera pieces so I'm gonna take those and I'm just gonna um, copy a, a few of these and then I'm gonna move them to a different sheet and then I'm going to make a whole bunch of those so and then there was a few of the Winnie's that um, I really wanted to use I wanted to use the more springy ones here's a shopping one here's a cute coffee one but I wanted to use more of these little springy ones and the I love that mermaid one um, 
she's cute. I'm going to use her. So I'm bringing all the ones I'm going to use over to the side, and then I can just cut and copy. Uh, oh, she's cute. And then I love this one too, the apples, but apples remind me of the fall, so I'm not going to do her. But here's like one with flowers and an umbrella. How cute is that? And um, I'm going to do the mermaid one too, just because I love this mermaid one. All right. So now I got all these over here. I'm going to reduce this uh, image a little bit. And I am just going to take all of these images. So I'm going to select them all. I'm going to cut them. And I'm going to bring them back over to my blank sheet that has my um, back up to my uh, page with all my registration marks on it. And I'm going to put these on. The, I'm going to paste them back onto this page. Now I'm just going to place them inside so you can see this red line right here. That's my um, print line. And then these are my, or that's my cut lines. You can see everywhere where these like crisscrosses are and inside this, that's where you shouldn't put images. And the red line is your print line and those are your cut where, it's, where it will not cut. So I'm just going to add all these cute little images in here. And I'm going to resize them because I did them all real tiny before and I want some of them a little bit bigger. So let's, let's add some bigger ones here. And if you want to, you can also, like if you know how big your space is, you can go over to, um, back up to the transform. You select your image, go back over to the transform. And up here at the top, this second one, this diagonal line, you can um, tell what size you want. So if you lock it, so I'm going to lock it, you can tell, say, I want it to be two inches. So I'm just going to put two in the bottom, and then it'll keep the proportions if it's locked. If it's not locked, it's not going to keep the proportions. And then I'm just going to apply, and then, so now this, this is two inches tall. So you can do that if you'd like. And then, then you know if you if you have a certain size that you want, you will get that exact size. So I'm just gonna make a few of these bigger. So I have some big ones to I had all the tiny ones that I cut out before. But now I want some bigger ones. Alright, and let's make this apple bigger. When he's in the way, all right. And the winnies, let's make them uh, each a little bit bigger. I don't know if this will all fit on my page, but we will see. And if it doesn't, we can make another page. That is the great thing about. Digitals is you can make as many as you want and you can change the sizes So let's just start putting these all over my paper here I think I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger Add this one And just wherever you have room, I'm gonna make that one a little bit bigger too And I like to have a little bit of white space in between just for the cutting. And this butterfly, I make him a little bit bigger. And that one is big. So, and so like you said, you can make as many of these as you want if you wanted to take them and select them all and copy and paste and move them down. Then you can just shrink it and add them back to anywhere on the page you want. And you can shrink them to fit on your page. So it's just really handy. 
you can turn them. Well, that one's not going to fit there, but if I turn it, I can get it to fit. So there. Now this page is just all ephemera. So I'm going to open another page here. And again, I'm going to go up to the top to page setup. I'm going to hit the registration marks. I'm going to turn them on. I'm going to go back here, grab my winnies that I want to use. I'm going to cut them and paste them over here. And then I'm just going to add them to this page. So I want these to be a little bit bigger. And add these cute little Winnie girls. And again, make sure it's inside the red line. And then if I want to take some, I can copy them and I can make some smaller ones just so I don't waste the paper. I can add some little ones throughout. So add her. She's a cutie, so let's add her back. Make her tiny. And her right there. I really like this mermaid one, so I'm going to add her a couple places. And if I angle her the, this way, I'll be able to fit her there. And I like that. I'm going to add another and make her really tiny and add her over here. So you can just keep, you know, adding until you fill up your page. I like to try to fill up as much of the white space as I can where I can fit these little girls. So I have some big ones and I have some little ones here. And let me see, did I get them all? Yeah, which one do I want? Let's do one, oh, one more of this this little girl. Put her right here. Alright. Make her just a tad bit bigger. There we go. Alright, so now we have our page filled up. Now I'm going to go over to my printer and I'm going to quick turn you here. So, oh, oh, there we go. Here's my printer. Get my Walgreens bag out of the way here. And I'm going to hit my file, print, and I am going to print this Print this out on my printer. And I put 110 cardstock in there. So it's printing now. Let me see. Oh, it's printing. And I will be back when it's printed. I'm going to print both of them, and then I'll come right back. Okay, I got them both all printed out. So this is how they printed. And they printed out really nice. Here's the ephemera sheet. Now I'm just going to put them onto my mat, my silhouette mat, and cut them out. And I will be right back when I have them all ready on the mats. Okay, it's already, I'm ready. I got it already on the mat. So it's ready to go into my machine. I'm gonna hold my um, phone, so this is going to be 
So I'm just going to put it into my machine here and hit load. So it's loading in my machine. Now I'm going to let's see if I can get this to work. I need both hands. So now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to, here we go. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Now we're going to go over here. We already printed. Now we're going to, up here to on the right, we're going to send it. And this is cardstock, but I want it to cut out just the line. So I'm going to go over here to line. And I want it to cut out the green line. So now it's, see, you can see all these green lines around here. That's what it's going to cut out. So, and it's plain cardstock. And I always bump it. I'm going to bump it up only because I think my um, blade is getting dull. So I'm going to bump this up to, um, the pressure is going to be 5. And then the force is 33 and the speed. Um, this is going to be an easy one. If it's a real delicate, intricate, you want the speed to be really slow. But, um the speed can go faster so I'm gonna bump it up to seven and then I don't need to test it I am just going to click that up and I'm gonna send it so now it's sending so then it's reading those registration marks now that are on the paper and then it's going to start cutting. Once it's set. <laughs> All right, and I will come back when it's cut. So now I'm cutting out the second sheet. I just did the same thing. And here is the first sheet cut out. So I started peeling it up. So this is how it looks. Peel off the rest. So there it is. This little butterfly stuck here. I'm going to do it with one hand. So there's that. Little cute little butterfly. And then you just Peel these off of the, the sticky mat, and we have our our little die cuts. <laughs> My mat's really sticky, so it's hard to do it with one hand. See, did those turn out so cute? So, that is how you make, cut and print your um, die cuts on your silhouette machine. And the next video, I'll show you how to print um, your paper. So, or at least how I do it. I will see you on the next crafty video. Bye!